Welcome back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. Now that you know the best way to sit, hold your instrument, and form a really good embouchure, we're going to use this session to help you get a great sound. Besides good posture and embouchure, what do you think might be one of the most important elements in creating a good sound in the embouchure? Don't say anything, Jenny, because I know she knows the answer to this. If you said breathing, you'd be right, absolutely right. Good breathing is essential to creating a good, clear, focused, and supported, beautiful sound on the horn. So, we're going to take a minute to do some breath work, okay? So I'd like you to stand up just like Jannie's doing here, and she's going to show you some breathing exercise. She's going to place her hand around her waist, so her thumbs go around the back, and the other fingers wrap around the front. And now she's going to concentrate on taking a big breath, keeping her shoulders down and relaxed. And when she does this, her shoulders won't move, but her stomach will move out. So let's watch her take a big breath in, and then she'll let it out again. Good, and she'll breathe in again, and let it out again. I hope you saw her stomach move in and out. Try this yourself, and notice how your muscles push against your fingers and thumbs from the front all the way around the back when you inhale, and then when you exhale, you'll use those same muscles to push the air out. Let's try that together with Jenny. Ready to take a big breath, Jenny? Here we go, big breath in, and out. One more time, everybody, in, and out. Terrific. Now, let's try controlling the amount of air that you take in and breathe out. I'm going to do some counting while Jenny breathes in for that number of counts, and then I'm going to give the same count again, and she's going to exhale. So we'll start with four counts in and four counts out. Hey, Jenny, ready? Here we go. Ready? Breathe in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Good. This time, let's do it along with Jenny. In for four, out for four. Ready? Here we go. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three. One more time. And in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three. Very good. Let's do it again. This time we're going to do it for eight. Eight in and eight out. Here we go. Ready? Remember, concentrate on keeping your shoulders down, pushing your tummy out when you breathe in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. And in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. Excellent. It's a really good breathing ex exercise, and you can try that at home with as many counts as you can handle. Now, let's do some breathing and playing, this time with just the mouthpiece. Jenny's going to concentrate on making a good, clear, beautiful sound without having to worry about the rest of the horn for right now. Okay, she's going to check her embouchure. Do you remember how to check it at home? She's going to think about saying the word mmm, or the sound mmm, with her lips. She'll keep her flat, her chin flat. The corners of her lips will be firm, and she'll have a relaxed center. Remember to keep that space between the top and bottom teeth open. So with her embouchure in place, Jenny's going to take a good breath, remembering to keep her shoulders down and relaxed. And first, without the mouthpiece, she's going to take a big breath. She'll reset her embouchure. She'll create a sound, a little buzz like we did before. Here we go. Ready? Great. Now she's going to do it again. And this time, she's going to do the same thing. She'll start off buzzing her lips. But once she has the buzz going, she's going to add the mouthpiece. Here we go. Great. One more time, Jenny. Here we go. Ready? Excellent. She's using really good breath support, which means she can get a really nice buzz. Now it's your turn to try right along with Jenny. Have your mouthpiece handy, but first let's buzz without the mouthpiece, just like Jenny did. Ready? Check your embouchure as you did before. Okay, take a big breath, shoulders down and relaxed, and let's buzz. Good. One more time. Ready? And buzz. Okay, now let's 
do it again, but this time let's start with the mouthpiece right on the lips. Okay, I'm going to count for you this time. So let's breathe in for four and buzz for four with the mouthpiece, mouth, <laughs> mouthpiece right on the lips. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Two, three, four, and buzz. Oh. Again. Two, three, four, and buzz. Oh. Excellent. Now, did you know that you can change the pitch of the horn by dropping the jaw, changing the speed of the air, and then changing the speed of the buzz? Listen to Jenny. She's going to use just the mouthpiece, and she's going to make a siren sound using some of those changes. Go ahead, Jenny. Try one more time and let them listen to you as you go from low to high, back to low again. One more time. That's great. You want to try making a siren sound using just your mouthpiece, just like Jenny, Jenny did, to learn more about changing pitches. Remember to have fun with it. It's a really fun thing to do at home. The next Measures of Success video practice buddy for the horn focuses on articulating using the tongue, so be sure to check that out. And now, on behalf of everyone here at FJH Music and Jenny, I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for watching.